Hey guys, I am back again with another tutorial for Canva. Um, this time I'm going to be designing a frame um, that has like the grunge outline to it. So that just makes your photos not so boxy or not so straight lined. Um, so we'll start out by going to the um, elements and select um, grunge background. I've already got it typed there. And for this um, effect, you're going to have um, to use over here to the left, the one of the grunge effects that do not have the Canva Pro logo on it, like this one here in the middle here, um, because I've tried to do some with this font frame maker, I mean with this frame maker that had the Canva Pro logo and it did not do so. Um, you have to pick one that does not have the Canva Pro logo on it. So we'll start with this one here, just a, just an outline there. Um, then we're going to go to apps on the left hand side and you can type it in at the top like I have there, Frame Maker, or you can, um, well, once you type it in, I'm sorry, it'll be the top left one there that's got the little hexagon looking um, thing. When it comes up, it'll automatically come to this screen. And this is just where you can design your own frame if you would like. You can add points, take points away, move it however you want to. Um, but um, in order to do a frame that you already have that you would like, you just hit convert there. And this is a paid app. It's $9.99 per year. But it's definitely worth it if you are designing um, lots of like shirt designs or any kind of design that you want a photo to have a not so straight line to it. So you go to convert design to frame. Make sure you have transparent background selected here. And I only want this one page. Okay, and then you're going to hit done and export. What it's going to do is it's going to take that if you can see here, it's going to take that outline and make it into a photo frame. So now we can go in and delete the old element. And now you have a photo frame here that you can put an image in. Let's just go start an image. Let's use this French Bulldog because I love my Frenchie. Um, okay, so you see there and you'll be able to see it better if we put, let's do a colored background on it. There you go. See how it makes your images not so boxy and, and you little frilly designs. You can pick from any of the grunge effects that you want to create a photo out of um, and then just uh, export it like that. Uh, you can always add words to it at the top, at the bottom, make it real pretty, change the background color, however you want to design it, but that's how you do the frame. Um, and if you guys like this tip or found it useful, just like and share or like and subscribe. I'm sorry, I will be posting more um, tutorial videos regarding Canva on my page. I'm just starting, so if you don't mind, like and subscribe and you'll get notifications whenever I post another video. Video. Thanks, you guys. Let me know if you need anything else. Bye.